Hey, what's up? I'm Liz. This is Putsi DIY, and today we're going to do another episode of DIY FYI, vital information for your everyday DIY. Now, my last video, I did an overview of the Arduboy, a pretty nifty little piece of open source hardware, and I got a comment on it uh, saying that there's this thing called the Arduboy Manager that allows you to upload games to the Arduboy without having to go through the Arduino IDE, which is pretty awesome because as you may have seen in the video if you don't have any experience using the Arduino IDE it can be a little bit complicated for those first time users and the Arduboy is definitely meant to be um, kind of a plug and play device uh, that allows people to game. It's not really modeled for the more technical user um, although it obviously it can be. Now the Arduboy manager is created by um, user Crate on the Arduboy forum. Uh, his name is Jonathan Holmes, and that is actually the person that commented. So shout out to Jonathan for letting me know about your pretty awesome program. Now to install, it's very simple. You download the zip file, it opens up, and before you know it, it's on your computer. And then it's very simple to upload files. Once you hook in your Arduboy to your computer, I was able to plug it in, it recognized it right away. You just pick a game, click transfer, it says transferring data, you hear your USB eject. It says it's complete, and then you look at your Arduboy, and sure enough, you have a new game installed. Now, the one thing though, um, there are some lovely games in here. A lot of them actually created by um, user Crate, so that's awesome. But what if you wanted to get another game on here? You can do that, but it does involve using the Arduino IDE. So, let's try to do that. I have here um, the a game by Team Arg, the game that actually came stock on my Arduboy, uh, called Mystic Balloon. It's a pretty cool side-scroller, kind of Mario-style game. Now I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, and this was new for me too, this is the first time I had ever done something like this. Basically, the, the manager, the Arduboy manager, it's taking .hex files, um, and that's what all these are, they're the .hex files from the Arduino IDE. Now what's a .hex file? A .hex file we've talked about a little bit on this channel before, mainly in the Arduino uh, macro keyboard video uh, where the .hex files were the um, firmware that we're loading up. Um, .hex files though in relation to the Arduino IDE is simply a compiled piece of code that goes into one um, concrete file. Now to get it a, a hex file out of the Arduino IDE is actually very simple. What you're going to do is you're going to verify the code, which compiles the code. Now you're seeing all this stuff pop up here that you may not be used to seeing if you're a frequent flyer with the Arduino IDE. The reason, the way that I was able to do this, is I went to File, Preferences, and then Show Verbose Output During. You're gonna check off Compile and press OK. And that's how you get all these things. And basically it's the file locations of all the um, compiled data, uh, which happens when you click verify. And now it's what it's basically doing is showing you where everything is. And it's gonna show you where the hex file is located, which is located in the app data folder. Now, if you have any experience with IT and app data, you know that app data is technically a hidden folder on your computer, app data is also a really awesome way for hackers and malware to get into your computer. Uh, so it's kind of hard to search it. So what I ended up doing was actually manually going into the app data folder, then local temp um, previously, and I was able to get the hex file there. Um, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to load this file into the Arduboy manager um, and the way that it seems like you should be able to do this, go to File, Import, File. And then if I browse, what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate to that same file location, then Open. Uh, we're going to call it Mystic Balloon, Team Arg. It's not letting me do it though. All right, so after some 
troubleshooting. I wasn't able to add this to the Ardu Boy Manager library um, by doing the hex file, but I was able to transfer a specific file, the hex, and... Okay, so that works. Unless I'm missing something, um, which I very well could be, basically you need the .hex file of the game to upload it to the Ardu Boy using this. Um, still a very cool thing, but I would really love to figure out why it's not working. Um, Jonathan, if you're watching this, um, perhaps leave it below in the comments and we can kind of do a little update. What you could do though, and what I'm probably going to do for now, is games that aren't included in the Ardu Boy Manager library by default. I'm going to export the hex files like you just saw me do with the Mystic Balloon game. Um, and then keep those hex files in a folder, so then if I want to upload those to the Arduboy, I can do it through the Arduboy manager, which is still a lot easier than having to go through the Arduino IDE, especially since most of the games, as you see at the top uh, for Mystic Balloon, uh, they have multiple tabs because there's so, man so many different aspects of the game that have to be programmed, and the way the Arduino IDE works is you can need those different tabs to access those different parts. So by having the hex files all compiled and using the manager to get those onto the Arduboy, it does really simplify the process. So I recommend if you're using a lot of games that aren't um, included in the manager by default to do that. Just make a folder uh, with the hex files um, and upload them that way. Okay, so that's all for today's episode of DIY FYI. Uh, looking at the Ardu Boy Manager. Uh, if you liked the video, toss me a thumbs up, toss me a thumbs down if you thought it was the worst thing you've ever seen. Leave your questions, comments below. Let me know if you're using the Ardu Boy Manager or if you still prefer the IDE, depending on your preference. I'm kind of curious. Um, I'm definitely going to play around with the Ardu Boy Manager. I will also let you know if I'm able to get games to kind of stay in the library. Like I said, I could totally be missing something. Um, and if I am, I apologize profusely. Uh, but otherwise, again, pretty cool list of games uh, that are down here. All right. Uh, find me on all social media nonsense. Links are down below. And until next time, this has been Blitz City DIY.